we introduce here a new tournament format called Tortola. Our, our vision of Tortola is that replaces double elimination and other popular formats for larger regional events, uh, uh, pool tours, and large national amateur and pro-am events. Here's the view from outer space where you really can't make out the details, but what you can see for this 128 player bracket here, there are two tiers. Tier 1 on the top, Tier 2 on the bottom, much like you'd see for a double elimination format. But unlike double elimination where the bottom or left would ultimately at the end feed back into the top for the finals, here they're separate segments. And in fact, there's more people paid out in Tier 2 than there are in Tier 1, and the money is split about evenly between Tier 1 and Tier 2. Before describing Tortola, let me make a few comments on single and double elimination. Uh, common formats. Single elimination doesn't take forever. 128 players gets done in seven rounds. That's a good thing. On the other hand, nobody likes to be one and done, and fully half the field is eliminated an hour or two after screwing their queue together. That's a bad thing. Double elimination does take forever. It takes twice as many rounds, 14 rounds for 128 players. Um, on the other hand, the players are guaranteed two matches, and that's a good thing. But here's another thing. Well, of these 14 rounds, the last third of them have just a handful of players. That's a big negative of double elimination. Here's another issue. Do you, do you handicap the event or not? If you don't handicap it, your event ge generates a true champion and rewards those who put in the time and effort. Those sound like good things. On the other hand, most potential fields vary across a very wide range of skill level. So it's not only that the, the weaker players have a lower chance, they basically virtually have no chance. As a result, there's a lot of players who are just not willing to enter a non-handicapped event. Uh, or if they are going to enter, they will enter if the entry fee is modest. So as a result, if you don't handicap the event, you tend to have smaller fields and lower entry fees, so, so modest payouts. If you handicap it, the winner is not necessarily the top performer in the field. You're open to the no incentive to improve criticism. You may get larger fields, uh, and those players are open to higher entry fees. So those seem like good things, but it's a dilemma. We not only had these issues in mind when developing Tortola, but we in fact retained everything that you've just seen in green and addressed everything that you've seen in red. What you're looking at here is tier one, the top tier of Tortola. The sea of purple on the left is all 128 players who start the tournament. They play off, and there are 64 winners, and those are shown in gray here. The 64 losers go to tier two. These 64 in gray play off and become the 32 in blue. The losers go to tier two. The 32 in blue become the 16 in brown, losers to tier two. The 16 in brown become the eight in green, losers to tier two. So you're saying, okay, at, at this point, it looks like a standard single elimination format. But notice something happened, something funny is going on here. The area is shaded and the matches are labeled. There is something going on. The losers of these eight players in green don't go to tier two, they stay in tier one. In fact, all eight of these players are paid. What you're looking at here is a standard double elimination eight player bracket for the final part of tier one. That's the nature of tier one. It's single elimination down to a point and double elimination from there. Now let's look at Tier 2, and I'll show it to you in such a way that you can see what's happening in Tier 1, what we just talked about at the same time, because these are actually happening at the same time. These rounds are in parallel. So the first round of Tier 2 is the 64 players in gray. Those are the losers from the purple, the losers from the first round of Tier 1. They play off, the losers are eliminated, and the winners become 32 of the players in blue. But notice there's 64 players in blue. The reason is there's another 32 that come in from the losers of the gray matches of Tier 1. Those 64 blue players play off and they become 32 brown players, which are added to 16 losers from Tier 1 to, get, to make 48 players. Those play off with some buys and they become the 32 players in purple in Tier 2. Now, notice that those 32 players in purple and tier 2 are all getting paid out. They're at the same level as the eight players in green in tier 1 that are all getting paid out. In fact, if you, I don't know if you can see the payouts here, but there's a very definite structure of the payouts. In fact, 
first place of Tier 2 gets the same payout as second place of Tier 1. Second place of Tier 2 gets the same payout as third place of Tier 1, and so forth. As a result, there's more players pay paid out in Tier 2, but the total purse in the two tiers is about the same. Here's a major feature of Tortola I haven't told you about yet. Tier 1 is a true championship format. No handicaps. You may have Shane Van Boning and Corey Duell playing off in the finals in a field that started out including all of the local le league players. Tier 2 has Fargo rate hot handicaps which means that the matches are all as fair as possible without giving the lower-rated player an advantage in the match. And the Tier 1 and Tier 2 races are connected. If Tier 1 is a race to 5, a straight-up race to 5, like shown on the left, Tier 2 is chart R5, which has the matches 5 to 5, 5 to 4, 6 to 4, down to 8 to 3. If Tier 1 is a straight-up race to 7, then Tier 2 is chart R7. 7 to 7, 7 to 6, and so forth, down to 10 to 4. If Tier 1 is a race to 9, Tier 2 is chart R9, and so forth. Let's switch gears from 128 players to 64 players to do a comparison of single elimination, double elimination, and Tortola. Single elimination is pretty straightforward. There are six rounds, the number of players cuts in half each round. Double elimination is a little bit more complex. The winner side is on the right here in blue. The loser side is on the left in whatever color that is. And the loser side feeds down to one final player who actually re-enters the blue for the final match. And there are 12 rounds here. Tortola, for 64 players, is eight rounds. Tier 1 is on the right. Tier 2 is on the left. You can see there's single elimination that goes down to the final four players where it changes to double elimination. The fact that a double elimination tournament for 64 players is 12 rounds and a Tortola tournament for 64 players it is 8 rounds is a big deal. There are th one of three consequences. One is the tournament can be over much more quickly. Two is you can accommodate in the same amount of time longer races, race to nine instead of a race to seven. Or three, you can accommodate more players. Here's summary information for several size Tortola brackets. 32 players is all the way on the left. You can uh, Tier 1 is on the right, Tier 2 is on the left. You can see in Tier 1, the 32 players goes down to 16, 8, and then 4, and then switches to double elimination. The payouts on the bottom, you can see second place of Tier 1 matches first place of Tier 2 at $250. Third place of Tier 1 matches second place of Tier 2 at $150. That's a general feature. 128 players is the bracket we were looking at earlier. You can see that tier one switches from single elimination to double elimination at eight players. And the payouts at the bottom here are half of what you saw earlier. These payouts assume a payout pot of $50 per player, just as an example. And here are Tortola summaries for 256 and 1,024 players. In summary, I've described a new tournament format called Tortola that is double elimination to the finals. Everybody starts in Tier 1, which is unhandicapped championship level tier. The Tier 1 losers at each point move to Tier 2 after a point in the tournament after which they remain in Tier 1. Tier 2 matches are close to fair. They're, they use Fargo rate hot handicaps. Payout is designed to be roughly equal between Tier 1 and Tier 2. In fact, Tier 2 payouts approximately match Tier 1 payouts shifted by a place. We're now preparing custom software to run Tortola tournaments that we expect to make available to TDs in your area at no charge. Uh, through this, the tournament director will be able to search and add players from the Fargo Rate database, and given the total purse, uh, payouts for individual places will be determined. The software will navigate flow through the brackets, and determine Tier 2 matchups. Some areas are more developed than others for Fargo ratings. We recommend in those more developed areas requiring an established Fargo rating to participate in a Tortola tournament. In emerging areas where some players have a Fargo rating and others don't, it, it will be possible to use director-assigned local ratings for unestablished players.